what's going on guys dr dave here coming at you guys with another video and this video is going to be a very special one it's been one that i've been working on for about a week and a half uh it's something that took me a very long time i did create one version um that i might release later on i'm gonna work on it a bit more um but for those of you that are wondering what exactly i'm referring to is i have officially created a zone wars and this map is absolutely insane i'm gonna share it with you guys and uh let's go ahead and jump right into that all right so when you are in the island uh you'll be met in this room with everyone's spawn pads some of them are upstairs this is mainly just for aesthetics um but yeah so let's go ahead and start the game uh, once you've gotten into the game this is an automatic spawner so please do not respawn Then you're going to be brought into one of these spawn areas. You just move forward and you will get your guns. Uh, turns out my loadout is insane. But anyway, uh, once you do, you'll get your stuff. And this is the map. So you will have a moving zone right here that takes for, I believe, uh, 10, then 20, and then basically death. Uh, and then behind us, you will see that there is a zone closing in. So that is kind of what's different about this map, along with a lot of others, different maps. I know Enigma and Donnie C released one with this moving zone like this. Um, but what I find different about this one is that this one has varying levels of height. So once you get out of here, everyone, you have these people on high ground. And then these guys have the opportunity, if they want to play low ground, there's low ground down here. And then they don't get punished by that because there's a launch pad right here. Uh, there's also another launch pad over here just in case uh, some people try to contest height. Um, this makes it much harder um, and much better for people who do want to contest height. So you'll stay within this zone and you'll push all the way down to the end. It is a three minute timer to get to the end of the final circle. Uh, and then the map will continue moving until that time. Okay, now if you do happen to make it to final circle, the circle will close. Uh, this is going to be a very tight circle in the end. Um, and you will see that there is a 10 ticking zone right here uh, that will hit you uh, with damage over time and eventually you will die. Overall, I think this is a very fun map. It took me a long time to make it. Um, I really enjoy playing this map. I got... Uh, I've also played this a few times with some of my friends and they just absolutely love it. It's a great map. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, the map features force respawn to help reduce bugs. Um, it has custom loadouts that will be randomized every single time. Uh, the moving zone, then it has a final 10 ticks zone, uh, just like if you were in the storm. There's a bug in creative that if you do get killed by the storm, it can crash like the creative server. So if you notice you're gonna die to the storm, it's better to just respawn and take the L or um, try not to die to the storm. Um, it's basically only if the storm eliminates you, not if like a player gets the if a player gets the kill, then you're fine. But if the storm eliminates you, then it can be like a problem. Um, but that timer did get increased to a minute, so it's much harder. But like I said, this is good for in-game practice. Uh, it's really great for anyone who's trying to get into competitive Fortnite. Would highly suggest trying it out. And let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below of any sort of bugs or changes that need to be made to the map. I will post the code down in the description just in case I need to update the code later on. Um, and I really do appreciate you guys and I will catch you guys later. 